Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul video. So today me and my lovely fiance Nathan went to a shop called The Range and we love it in there, like we really do. It's so much to look at and uh, we got quite a few bits and pieces. So I thought I'd do a haul to show you what we got. Now let me know in the comments section down below what you like the best out of everything you see and don't forget to please click like and share and subscribe to my channel that would be awesome oh and don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications then you can see when i've uploaded new videos and also when i'm doing live streams so we've got a big bag here do you want to see this big bag like it's huge like seriously check this out look I think it's bigger than me, actually. <laughs> it's very heavy. <laughs> it's about as much as I can lift it. Okay, so we got some Christmas stuff, some Halloween stuff, and some just random stuff as well. Um, okay, so first of all, we'll start with the boring thing, batteries. Now, we did actually get two packets of these, um, but... And the others we've already opened and put in some of the stuff in there which you're going to be seeing so because we wanted to see them number one if they were working check they were working and also to see what they will look like working as well so yeah we've got two packets of batteries so these like are just really basic ones um jcb batteries and they, i think they were like one pound 19 or something so yeah got some batteries um right so as i say mixture of halloween and christmas here uh, isn't that a song by Blink-182, Halloween and Christmas, <laughs> da, 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 da. anyway, good song, um, so yeah, this, Halloween themed, now, when I was a kid, I absolutely loved doing these little velvet colouring things, my mum used to get me them all the time, all different designs, and I just, I love them, I know, and I'm a big kid, I enjoy colouring, do you know what, as an adult, I find colouring just so therapeutic, so relaxing, and I think a lot of people do. I think something about, well, arts and crafts in general, which is quite chilling and relaxing. But I saw this and I had to get it because it's one of the velvet colouring things, as I said. But it's a very haunted, creepy house. I love it. Um, oh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I am a little bit obsessed with Halloween. Um, ever since I was very young, I've always loved Halloween, all the spooky stuff, right? So, yeah, I just love this. So the trees and the haunted house and like pumpkins there like it's just oh it's just an awesome picture and it does come with some uh, little coloring pens at the back there i mean they're not the greatest obviously so i have got my own like felt tips and stuff and coloring but um yeah it just it just ah oh, i can't wait to do it honestly i'm so excited to do that so that's that um next up oh yeah this is also arts and crafts um picture etch uh so this is the um the what is it scratching art you sort of scratch it so i'm sure when i was a kid i used to do this but i haven't done it for years and years and years um so i'm hoping it's easy to do i think you just get the little tool thing and just scratch it and then the picture comes around is that what happens All right. i'll soon find out but on this this was like i think two pound fifty or something um and yeah you get three different pictures in it it's a triple kit so this is one with the girl here now i've got to be honest i really love the imagery of this girl but i wish she didn't have a butterfly on her eye i do have a bit of phobia of insects so i'm just like mm. <laughs> i don't know why they stuck it on her eye like if it would have been over there or here or so it would have been fine but i put it right on her eye that's just me um then this one here says good vibes only but the one that i love the most is this one here right in the corner which is the aliens in this spaceship. I love the colouring of it as well. So I actually might do this tonight because I really want to do it. I think it would be, like, as I say, really good fun, relaxing. And um, if it comes out okay, the alien picture will definitely be going on our bedroom wall because we are a little bit obsessed with aliens and UFOs and space and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's really cool. So, yeah, I might do that tonight, actually. Okay, so next up, I am into all my kind of mystical, magical stuff. I've got tarot cards, angel cards. I've been doing stuff like that for many, many years now. Um, I like to call myself a Jewish witch. Uh, <laughs> sort of combines my Judaism with being a, 
uh, a witch obviously a white witch you know none of that dark stuff but well no i'm joking but like i just i've always really been fascinated um by mystical stuff new age stuff like I've, i just think it's so interesting and i just yeah i love it all so i spotted these or oh, actually i think nathan spotted these yeah it might have been him anyway the power of the moon um and these are like um it says book and lunar oracle card set so the moon magic how cool is this i love the box by the way um so they are the cards they look really oh i can't wait to open this it says includes a 64 page book 26 oracle cards and an inspirational stone now i wish you could see that but the lighting in here right now is a bit rubbish but it is beautiful it's like a light blue uh kind of pinky color as well so yeah i'm really excited to do this uh the power of the moon to increase uh intuition and well-being so oh i'm really 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 excited to do it. i've never had these kind of cards so um yeah i'm looking forward to kind of play around with them and get used to them myself and then once i've had a kind of feel for them and got used to using them a bit i may do a live stream with them because sometimes i do like tarot card and angel card readings live so i might do that but yeah they just look beautiful cards beautiful little set and of course um yeah it's all in there everything you need so yeah that was pretty cool i can't remember how much this was i've got to be honest do you remember how much the moon cards were bub four pound ish yeah they weren't expensive at all and for this set thank you to be fair i'd have paid a tenner for that set but it wasn't yeah it was a lot cheaper than that so a bargain really really good they had other cards as well they had tarot cards obviously they had angel oracle cards those few kind of similar sets like that but yeah really really good i'm really excited to use those okay next up we have these now these are damn cool i was looking for some i'm doing an asmr video a collab with another artist and in her video she uses lots of like different color lights and things like that and i just wanted something not the same but kind of similar in which i could create at the same sort of visual ish with lots of colors and things and um i was like what do i get do i get this do i get a lamp do i get this but then we saw this uh, i think nathan spotted these as well he was he was on the ball today these are color changing led tea lights and um honestly they're so good so we have opened them up just to test they worked so here's hoping I get one that we tested and not the one that we didn't test. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So, oh, okay, it's light. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to turn that off quickly and carry on watching. At the end of the video, I will turn the lights off and show you the things that light up, lit up, okay, with the batteries in. So I'll leave that one out. But yeah, it's really, really cool. So it goes from like yellow, green, blue, red, and you don't have to press anything or anything. You literally just press it on the once and it just kind of, changes so i've got one box and these were really cheap these were like 150 or something 140 something like that um i am tempted to go and get another box because these are probably once they go they go kind of thing i think these are going to be quite popular and they're so cheap um but yeah obviously when i'm filming it will give that illusion of the color changing and it's gonna look great so really really cool and i would use them all year round to be fair i think they're great so yeah carry on watching anything i show you in the video that like needs to be lit up and stuff you'll see lit up right where should we go next right halloweeny stuff now i don't know how this is gonna go uh <laughs> i might do this in a video because i think it'd be really funny so it's a make your own dough witch so we've got some like play-doh i don't know if you can see it in there but there is some like play-doh in there and you get to make a mold this kind of witch image i don't know if mine's going to turn out like that her nose is going to probably be where her chin is or something i don't know but it's going to be so much fun this is really cheap as well it's like a pound or 150 or something but oh, i can't wait i love it i absolutely love it and i know that that it's just not going to look like that which is going to make it all more fun okay right more halloween stuff here now uh oh oh no no it's all right Oof. i thought i pulled his leg off but i haven't it's okay so i as i say love halloween and i have already got like well we have got loads of halloween stuff but i can't resist it like if i see new stuff halloween i'm like oh my god am i gonna i get really excited about it i got excited about this fella here and the re <laughs> the reason i really liked him he's he's a vampire he's a vampire baby look it says here hanging baby vampire um <laughs> and he's just got like a cute little face look at that face this might he might be on the thumbnail he will be on the thumbnail let's put it straight i'll have to pose with him 
<laughs> but he's just adorable and look because he's got no teeth because he's a baby he's kind of like <laughs> oh he's so cute with his little cape and stuff oh my god oh my god i know halloween is supposed to be spooky but i you know it can be cute as well right spooky cute hashtag spooky cute so yeah um i can't remember how much he was there's no price tag on him he wasn't much but he's he's just adorable he'll he'll be out for halloween so yeah love that i will say though me and nathan both said that they've got so much less this year at the range for halloween at halloween obviously like they did have stuff because we got some um and there were some quite big like hanging things you know like the sort of scary witches and skeletons or whatever lots of clowns because you know i have a phobia about clowns and i have to walk around seeing all these big clowns hanging up but just yeah compared to normal they normally have a lot more there's i think the range of focusing more on christmas stuff at the moment than halloween so i don't know but there was enough for me to get stuff anyway and to be fair if they'd have had more i'd have probably bought it so maybe it's a good thing a blessing in disguise that they didn't have them right so these are super cute these are christmas decorations uh once again pretty similar to our halloween stuff we've already got loads but you've always got to add more every year you need you know like we like our traditional christmas decks you know they come out every year the same ball balls the same you know little things you know some of them might be a bit broken and battered but we still put them on the tree and it's just like family tradition now right but we always add some new little people into uh the situation and these are hold on what are these these are called hanging dress mouse so we've got four of these <laughs> they're just so cute look at these little mice oh my god now in reality i would not be holding a mouse because i'd be screaming um even though i do think mice are cute i will say but like i wouldn't want to see one running near me because they're so fast and stuff but look at that little mice there and they're really fluffy. Like I know you can't feel through the screen, but I wish you could because they're so fluffy. It's so fluffy. So yeah, we've got um hold on, move this little thing out of the way. There we go. So we've got four mice. Now the original thing was to just get one. I said, Oh, I'm gonna get one of these. <laughs> but it did up going, oh, but I want this one as well, and this one. We ended up with four. So they're super cute. So they're gonna go on the Christmas tree. Um okay oh by the way if anyone's watching being like hold on you just said you're a jewish witch but yet you celebrate christmas it's a long story i won't bore you let's just say i'm from a mixed family so mum's side of the family jewish dad's side of the family christian boom intermarried and i'll have the best of both worlds so it's all good uh -huh. okay right so next up these are for halloween but to be fair i would use these all year round as well because i absolutely love them and they're proper heavy, like really heavy. I thought they were going to be quite uh, light, but they're really heavy. So these are like the um, false, look like pretend looking candles, Halloween LED candles. But I think there's actually, like I think they're made from wax. There's definitely some waxy thing because they feel heavy and there's like a wax like feel. I don't know but they're black there's three of them and honestly they are so cool we've seen them working um because we put the battery in them and oh my god they're so cool so i'm just gonna quickly get one out and show you but as i say carry on watching um because we'll show you them lit up in the dark there we go i was making sure that one was working so yeah basically that is what it looks like and you can't really see it. oh you can it's like the fake wax dripping effect as well really really cool these are great like apart from halloween like, i would choose these in the year because i just think they look amazing but yeah you can see it, it is flickering like an actual candle but it's just oh so cool so cool um i have an actual phobia of like candles because i always worry that they'll they'll fall and there'll be a fire and things like that so i don't tend to use candles so fake like led stuff like that and obviously the little ones like the little fake tea lights I'm perfect with because I like the look and the effect of that kind of flame but I just yeah I just get scared of fire and stuff but yeah they're really, really cool really really good they were like 750 for three but as I say they're not these like cheapy lightweight things they're really heavy like this is the smallest one and then the medium one's a bit heavier but the big one is proper it's heavy it's good quality stuff for you know a cheaper price also heavy is this fella here <laughs> literally right we'd been in uh, the range for like i don't know i don't even think it had been a minute we literally walked in went to the homeware section because uh, when we got the range 
you know, we like looking around the whole thing. Even if we're not looking for stuff in that section, I know, like the bathroom section or whatever, we'll still go there because we like like looking around and stuff. Um, and we'd literally been in there under a minute and we both saw this fella here, but he's very heavy. So is this tortoise for the garden? Look, he's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> he's really heavy though. So I was like, oh my God, I want him. But I, I thought he he was going to be quite light. So I went to pick him up and it's like, Ugh! but he's really heavy. So he's only like four pounds, which I think is a really good price for him. Like to me, he looks a lot more expensive than that. And especially like the weight of it as well. It's not cheap, kind of thin, light, you know, material. He's, he's heavy. He's like stone. Like he's this heavy fella. And he's like, all right. Um, look at that face. Only a mother would love. <laughs> and the tallest. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, so I said to Nathan, I really want him, but he's just too heavy. I cannot carry him home. And he was like, well, no, I'll, I'll carry him home. And to be his fairness, he did live up to that. He did carry it home. He had a couple of bags and um, yeah, he, he did carry him because he was really heavy. So really cool. I love that. He's going in the garden. We'll put him out tonight, I think. Um, we've got another like tortoisey thing. We've got a lot of like characters and creatures in our garden, like gnomes and stuff like that. And different like animals and things so he'll fit in perfectly all right so i've got a couple more things to show you first of all christmas crackers now we love a good christmas cracker um i particularly love the smell you know when you've pulled the cracker and it's like that burning kind of i don't know what it is but it's such a nice smell and i do have the tendency once we've pulled a christmas cracker to just sit there and be like sniffing around the air which is really creepy if i say it out loud but anyhow um <laughs> we we do love a christmas cracker but sometimes when we get our christmas crackers they are really bad and to be fair it's normally my fault because i, I get them cheap from poundland or whatever and they're just rubbish and you know the toys are just awful like everything's all the hats are broken or they don't fit or you know it's just not good so last year we did have different um crackers which were a little bit better because they had like little games in them and stuff like that but this year i think i think nathan has found the ideal cracker can i just give a quick round of applause please join in at home to nathan because i tell you what he he's not as much into shopping as i am i'm like a little bit of a shopaholic as you probably know but he done blooming well today he spotted some good things that i might not have seen and he found these crackers so well done to that man um so this is santa's crackers sorry santa's christmas race crackers six fun crackers each with a pullback santa sleigh to race so first of all these crackers look great i mean look they've got the little snowman and the elves and santa and stuff on them really really cute but you get a little game at the back which is like a racing game so every cracker contains this little character and like you pull them back and you get like this board where they can race i just think it's gonna be so much fun so six fun crackers each with a pullback santa sleigh to race hat motto and snap i do like the little mottos that come in crackers i like jokes or motto i'm happy with um box contains the race track and the winner's trophy oh there's a winner's trophy as well i didn't realize that awesome so this is gonna be so fun and the good thing is recyclable crackers and packaging. So we are doing our thing. Greta Thunberg would be proud of us. <laughs> but like, this is going to be brilliant. And I have to say, no doubt when my dad and his partner come around for Christmas at some point, they always come around for an hour or so at Christmas time. And you know, we have a little drink, we play some games and stuff. We'll be playing that, but I think it'll probably be for money. I know how my family roll. We're all gamblers. And I'm thinking, pound a race, see who wins. I'm up for it. But yeah, it's just really unusual and different. So yeah, really excited to use those crackers. Really fun. Um, right, so the last thing I want to show you is they say, save the best till last. Um, I've actually got out over there. So I will be filming. I say, carry on watching. because I'll be showing you because we've put batteries in. Um, I'll be filming it, sort of working and doing its thing. But for now, I'm just going to show you the box. So they have an amazing selection in the range of like lit up christmas goodies like the whole kind of i mean there were so many there if i was made of money i would pretty much buy all of them because they're beautiful especially the big ones like these features like sparkly and lit up and moving and musical and like you know the stuff right like it honestly i i can't think of a better place than the range that do those kind of things at christmas i know you can get them at various other shops but they just have such an amazing selection 
and like there was this i'm trying to think of some of them we saw we saw like these lots of lanterns stand up lanterns tabletop lanterns all sparkling and glittering there was one that i nearly i nearly did get and i'm still tempted <laughs> maybe before christmas i might go back it's still there and it was like a big like this kind of size snow globe but you know with a snow globe you have to kind of shake it you don't with this you press the button and all the snow kind of just shakes up itself and what did it have around the side i can't remember. like christmas theme around the side and it all lit up oh my god yeah i really loved that that was really nice there was a carousel that was all lit up and moving then you've got like this um it looks like a jukebox lit up sparkling little characters moving inside i love the things with trains in as well there's like um scenes where there's like a christmas scene a little train going around and people moving like it's just honestly it's amazing it's so so cool um so they were really expensive so we didn't get them but we did find this kind of mini version of cuteness so it's a winter scene uh feel festive to so feel festive feel to any home this christmas led traditional winter christmas scene so there's the box you can see so basically you've got this all lights up obviously you've got the little trees and this snowy scene and then you've got right there there's little stuff. Now, I actually thought this was a train, but it's not. He's on Santa's on his sleigh, and um, he goes in the little tunnel, and then out the tunnel, it kind of spins round. I find that very relaxing to watch this little thing spin round. Um, what else have we got? We've got the little snowman there. The little boy who's made his snowman, and there's always, as I say, different colour lights. The house up here all lights up as well. It is beautiful. I think was it fifteen? What's that? The Winter Wonderland hat scene. No, I think it's 20. Yeah, even 15 or 20, something like that. But just stunning. Like, it really, really is really, really... Oh, it says ultra bright LED. It's really beautiful. So I'll get that working for you in a second and, and show you. But it's kind of like the cheaper version of the bigger things that we can't afford. Um, But I am tempted for that snow globe. It was so nice. It was so nice. And ever since I was little, I've always really loved snow globes. Like, there's something magical, majestic about watching these snow globes. And just, I, I find it very calming. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and get it. <laughs> I can't remember how much that was. That Do you remember how much that snow globe was? No. It was nice, though. It was very nice. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, that is the haul. I hope you've enjoyed the mixture of Halloween and Christmas. And it is... I want a tortoise for the garden. <laughs> Here it is. I need a name for him. We need to name you. You can't just call him tortoise in the garden. Um, so there we go. Thank you for watching. And as I say, carry on watching. I'll show you the winter scene lit up and moving. And the candles, obviously, in the dark as well. So, yeah, carry on watching. And don't forget, as I say, click like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my other channel as well, MinxLaura123 ASMR. The link's down below. Also, the link's down below to all my social media. So come and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads. And if you care to spoil me <laughs> and treat me, I do have a throne wish list as well. And the link is down below for that. So, let's go turn the lights out. Lights out. I feel like I'm doing a ghost hunt. Lights out. Um, and then I'll show you everything lit up and moving and working. Look at this. Seriously, it's amazing. The only thing I don't know what it is, is there's a little bit of dirt. Having OCD, I'm noticing it. See, right there, so that needs to be picked off. But apart from that, <laughs> how amazing is this? Oh, one of the trees is a bit drunk. There we go. Um, look at these colours though. Look, you've got the blue, red, green, yellow. Everything's lit up so nice. And there is Santa in his sleigh. I originally thought this was um, a train because it looked like it was going in the tunnel and out, but it's not. It is a sleigh. But um, let's get closer there so you can see more detail. Really, really cool. I absolutely love it. There's the little house all lit up and the trees. And we've got some little steps there to get up. Santa, woo! <laughs> the snowman there. But yeah, so that is the uh, Christmas winter scene. But even look at the colour around it as well. Like, it's just oh, it's so pretty. I absolutely love this. It's so nice. Right, so this is the colour changing candle. Just hold it there. There we go. Whoa. So cool. I love this. It's 
like magical. Look at this change in colour. You've got green there. Like a bluey colour. And look, as you can see, I'm not pressing anything. It literally just changes colour. Got like a pinky purple, like a white colour. It's really, really nice. I absolutely love these. And they're so cheap as well. They've got your red there. Cool, look at that red. Whoa, that was really red. I absolutely, honestly, love these. They're so cool. Really, really cool. All right, so this is the big um, like Halloween black candle. You can't really see the candle obviously because the lights are off but take a word for it it is obviously black we saw it out the box but look at the effect of this flame like it's so like do you know what i mean forceful it looks like a real flame but um yeah really really bright <laughs> really really cool yeah i'm really loving these so i'm going to put them all as i say i've got like the three i'm going to put them all in a row one two three the small one medium and the little one but yeah very, very powerful. Put that next to it there as well. Oh, you can see the candle a bit more now. Put that next to it. You can see it. So there we go. It's really, it's really relaxing watching these little candles. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon. And yeah, well done to the range because they've got some really decent good stuff at the moment. And, you know, I think for quite a reasonable price as well. So uh, yeah, bye.